Hey, squad. Hey. Yo. Do y'all watch Sisters on BET? Because, baby. <laughs> y'all, this is my freaking show. Listen. When they started off with him, like, you know, we was already ready from the last show to see how it was going to go because he slapped Danny. But when they started off with him spitting in Danny's face, I, like, to lost my whole composure, baby. Then he going to have the nerve to tell her the next time he was going to kill her. And I'm thinking in my head trying to process, like, what Danny going to do because I don't see Danny. Let nobody just put their hands on her. The whole time in my mind, I'm like, Lord have mercy, where Preston? Like, where is Preston? And why hadn't we called him already? Like, I still can't believe we even at this point anyway. Because I can't believe she even let him leave the airport. I just knew then she was going to be like, we should work on it or... When you going to tell the truth, you love this man, why you even let him leave and go marry somebody else when you know you love him anyway? Like, how long we going to play this game? I, I, I'm baffled as to why we even letting this play out this long. Like, what we getting at here? Like, why are we playing? Like, I, what, <laughs> what is going on? It's like, not okay at this point. Like, how long we we playing this game like it's too much so anyway they go out the door so danny gonna follow him at the door out to the little yard in the front she gonna find a piece of loose pipe now this the danny i was waiting on she gonna hit him Break him down to his knees. So when she gets to her car, I'm like, she finna pistol whip him. I know she got a strap in the car. Y'all, I didn't I didn't see her. I did not foresee her getting in the car and ramming into his car. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't expect it for all. I just knew she had a gun in the car. I thought she was channeling her inner Fatima and was gonna come out with a gun. Honey. <laughs> but she when she was like, I bust the windows at your car. I just know. Yeah, but I did not see her, baby. I just wasn't expecting for her to hit the car. Y'all tell me in the comments below. Y'all tell me in the comments below what y'all thought about the whole situation. Now, some people feel like she shouldn't have been talking crap to him and been like, oh, you got an itty bitty teeny weeny tiny little Vienna sausage, blah, blah, blah. But listen, no, nah, y'all can't be mad and saying that because he the one started it when he hollered, hey, y'all bitches, y'all all the same. Whatever he said at this point, it's irrelevant to me because once the B word come out of his mouth because, because, because he was like, you get me all worked up. If she wasn't getting no satisfaction from it and she was just telling him, I'm not feeling, feeling you, it's not working out, we're going to have to let this go. She said what she said. She wasn't feeling it. It wasn't it. The one, the two, or the three. Let's just, we done tried it. And she said, we tried, but it's not working out. And she was honest with him about it. Then he got mad and got in his feelings and whatnot. As I have been taught, for every action, there is a reaction. His action gave her a reaction. Then he couldn't handle the consequences of it. And then he slapped her. Once he slapped her, then she reacted. So all of y'all that's saying she shouldn't have said this, that, or the other. It was his reaction that triggered all of this. All because she said, okay, we done tried to do it. We done tried to see where this is going to go. This ain't happening. This is not it. This just, ah, I, we not feeling it. It ain't working. That's it. And once that's it, and you see it ain't clicking, it ain't hitting, that's it. It is what it was and it was. Or it, or it, ain't, it ain't giving what it's supposed to give. That's it. When he said, y'all... <laughs> Bitches is all the same. Apparently, okay, then you've been told this before. So then it shouldn't be no surprise and you should be getting mad at Danny. If, if, 
you ain't giving what it's supposed to give, stop getting mad at people, okay? When are we going to tell Karen Brittany in jail? Because Pam or somebody down at the salon is bound to tell her she going to see it on the news if she turn on the TV because you sure I'm sure it's a big thing at this point because she is a manager at the bank. Somebody, she going to run into somebody. Somebody is going to tell her. So when are we going to tell her? Because y'all can't keep talking to her like she's slow. Because somebody going to tell them. And somebody going to gossip around and tell her. But anyway, Karen is ready for her mama <laughs> to leave. Um, Then she didn't want her mama to know that she been stalking around Zach and Call up a team out of her name, <laughs> her name and stuff. But I'm glad that her uh, Fatina went over there the last episode and is and and done come out and told her mama how Karen running around there and acting stupid and caring on and calling Fatima on the phone and trying to cuss her out this that and the other and baby, you plainly said you didn't want Zach. You done told him he ain't nothing. You keep telling him he ain't nothing. Then in the next break, but I still want you though. Because I'm stuck with how I feel even though you ain't shit. What going, what you, why you keep saying that didn't expect for him to want you? And expect for him to just take you back? Wh where they do that? Where they do that at, Karen? No, baby. You know, you can't keep saying, but I love you, though, and I want you, even though you ain't shit and doing shit for me and, and can't do shit and you ain't never been shit, but I, I can't help how I feel and I love you, though. You wasn't saying none of that till he got with Fatima. You was wanting Aaron and all into Aaron. Matter of fact, you slept with Aaron, come back suddenly pregnant with Zach's baby and want Zach once he with Fatima. But if we gonna leave that alone. Anyway, if you watch Zatima, then you already know that Zach and Fatima engaged on this show. And we just waiting on sisters for them to catch up. But y'all, I think, and it's my personal opinion, that that restaurant that they eat now that I think that Aaron and Karen gonna be eating out at that restaurant and Karen gonna see them get proposed at that restaurant. But that's just my personal opinion. We're gonna have to wait in this show for a few more episodes to catch up and see if that's how it's gonna be. But I just feel like they gonna that's how it's gonna show how we gonna see it in this show that they get in the and when they get engaged on this show because this show got to catch up with Zatima and I feel like this high is gonna come across on this show. I don't know why I think that I just do that's just my personal opinion and that's just how it's gonna play out on this show when they get engaged. Y'all, Gary's still trying to get with Andy and what don't be clicking in Andy's head that Gary just is not it like. Why, why she's still messing with him? She, she need to leave him alone. And I don't know what part of leave him alone. So if you, I'm trying to think how to explain this. So if you watch one of their live shows where they had a whole cast on it. So we know we don't want any of the cast members to lose their job at this point. So they got to have some kind of little relation so everybody can keep their job and not get fired. But we don't know how we need it to play out where, I don't know, do they need to find Gary a new love interest or something? Or what do we need to do? Because this whole thing with Gary and Andy is, but at the same time, this whole relationship with them, maybe he can just be friends with the guys. I don't know because it's tiring me, this whole relationship they got because it's just stupid at this point. Because... <laughs> because <laughs> And it, they can't keep having her play stupid like this. Like, <coughs> it, I'm just trying to think in my mind, like, how can this be written where Andy is not this dumb <laughs> to keep messing with Gary? Anyway, 
Gary wanted to bring some of his clothes over to Andy's at this point because he think he in there. Like, he think he got Andy back wrapped around his finger and they back into a relationship at this point and everything is going good and to the point where, you know, like, they back together. Andy, sell that penthouse. Sell it. Buy you a house. Like, you should be living like Zach living. Like, what are you doing? Get rid of this penthouse. Daddy done told you, like, hello. Get yourself together. Like, this ain't it. To be an attorney, sometimes she ain't bright about. You know how they say you can have book smarts and be smart, but uh, you not, you don't have common sense. This is Andy at this point, like. Come on, baby. Uh, anyway. Okay, I'm going to give her a little credit. She be smarter than... She ain't really slow. I don't... Anyway. I'm going to give her some credit because she had sense enough not to leave him there while she went to work. So I got to give her a, a little credit. Um, But she got to find another, another place. Anyway, like I said, Andy, get a house. But... What are these papers that's in Gary's pockets? Because I'm thinking they were him and him and Hayden, him and Hayden, Aiden made the little bet. But surely he didn't have them little three shares rolled up that quick and stuck in his pocket. Surely he didn't. So are those still the papers from the lawsuit that he was gonna take out against her? Is that what's in his pocket? Whatever it is, and it. Child, why you didn't pull out your phone and take a picture of them and show us? Because, baby, we need to see what the papers are. Why they didn't have the, the camera zoom in on them? We know, see. We needed to know what it was for sure, baby. Because I we needed to see. Give us the T and the deets and the details. Because, baby, we was like, let us. We was trying to peep, peep over her shoulder. We was like, and, day, let us see, too. Girl, I I don't know. But I'm glad she didn't let him stay there and had had more bugs and stuff in her apartment or whatnot. I'm gonna need Fatima to work on her communication with Zach. She can't keep having an attitude every time he needed to he needed to talk about some so I'm gonna need Little Red Riding Hood to have her porridge and sit down and talk and communicate with a man. You can't do that. A relationship is about communication. And just like she wants Zach to talk to her, she has to also talk to Zach. It's a two-way street. It ain't not right now, Zach. Okay, Fatima? Sus, we need you to have several beds and communicate with Zach. But we he called the little red <laughs> riding. <his. coughs> she meant to sit down and have this porridge this man done cook for her. Because I ain't going to lie. We all want our men, men to be trying to cater to us like Zach catering right now. And baby, while you got it, you better enjoy it. Because Zach giving. You got Karen over here asking the food to get what you giving. And you best be appreciating. And you see Karen over here asking the food for it. You better appreciate and learn how to communicate with this man, girl. You better stop playing. <laughs> so let's get into hating Aiden. <laughs> when Robin called him in this office. And front of the old boy with these emails. And he be making this stupid face. <laughs> he was so shell-shocked when he told him he had them emails tracked. And he always be like... what to say to Robin. He was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Honey, babe, when I say Robin had him on the ropes, broke down to the knee pads, and he couldn't even lie, he was speechless. Because he like, I got CIA contacts, and it tracked back to you. Your IP address, your computer, you sent the emails about the janitor. 
And he done went to the janitor, and the janitor said he ain't never sleep with Andy. But keep in mind, he had slept with Andy, because remember he was on, on, on Andy, and the janitor was on his mama couch, and his mama came in and was like, good to see you again, Andy. But you know what? That's going to come back to bite her in the face. She's going to start, and this is how I feel like it's going to play out. She's going to start back seeing Robin again. They're going to get serious, and then the janitor going to hang it over um, Andy's head. For her to do something for him, or it's gonna be some some kind of way, or I'm gonna tell Robin that we was together. But at this point, I don't feel like Robin would believe it because when you asked, when he asked him before, he gonna be like, "Well, if you was with her, why you didn't tell me then? Why you waiting to tell me now?" But blah blah blah, this that and the other. But anyway, that's a whole nother story in itself. Aiden think his worth is so high at the front firm that he can't get fired but like robin said you can be replaced them cases can go to somebody else honey we can get rid of you and hey hey name can be out the door but he uh, robin done told him baby you done got your three strikes oh, my boy you done got your three strikes my boy we done you got one more time and he can walk and then he gonna run in there to the phone and call <laughs> call Gary and tell Gary and Gary gonna say you better be careful because you know he can be listening to this file hating like for real <laughs> but it's funny because even Hayden done got on Gary nerves like Gary told him in the last episode like Fatima here and you here like he even realizing that Hayden is just like crazy like his his whole thing with Fatima, he done realized that Hayden has lied about this whole situation. Like, I'm glad he it's done come to his realization that Hayden been lying. Like he Fatima ain't never been after him like that. He was to me after her. Like either way, him pipping around that office like he been pipping around that office like he all that it's just to come on down a few levels cause baby. But Robin was cold as fuck to Andy. He really treated her like crap. And now he, he want to stroll back in there and be like, Andy, listen. And he want Andy to be like, yes, Robin. Andy, he, she giving what you asked her to give. She being real professional. And I'm glad she ain't giving in. She need to stand her ground with him because he was real disrespectful to her. So now she need to stay professional with him. She need to let him sweat it out for a minute. But I do wish she was as hard with Gary as she been with, with Aiden. And then they'll all be a little bit more respectful to her. It's okay to have casual sex with people. But Andy do need to make people start respecting her. And how she's standing up with Robin, she need to be standing up would get to Gary the same way. Earn your respect. It's okay to have casual sex, sex with people, but you she need to make people earn her respect. She need to stand her ground, but I'm glad she's standing her ground with Robin because Robin was dirty to her. I, I was like, Ninja, please. You just stroll in there and then you just want her to buckle down. You owe her some apologies. Like, he, he, he like he he should have went to her directly. Like, did you sleep with her? Sleep with the janitor? He was mean to her. How he went with her? You just took another dude's word. You should have talked to her about it in a better way. When Fatima got on the phone and called Madam, it was like, hold your phone. She about to call, baby, baby. Madam's contacts be coming through, honey. I I personally think Madam and Fatima Fatima. It's everything, and I would love to see her and Fatima doing stuff on All the Queen's Men together because, y'all, All the Queen's Men is my show, too. I'm here for every season and every episode, baby. I be watching it like I watch the P-Valley, honey. I be in it to win it. Do you hear, do you hear me? Be in it to win it all the way, honey. Now, y'all know I used to watch. Anyway, let me tell you this shit. So I'm about to go live because it started talking about All the Queen's Men, but anyway... So, Madam's contact came through. So, Andy and Danny get to see Sabrina. But when do we get to see Maurice? Because, baby, I need to know how Sus is doing. They've been talking about Sabrina, but who going to see about Maurice? Like, 
We ain't Calvin go get somebody together and scramble together the squad down at the bar and go see Maurice. I need to know how Maurice doing it. Y'all, we just going to act like Maurice didn't exist. Y'all better stop playing with sus. Y'all better get the boys on your neck and go down there and see how sus doing because he got to be looking like Brina looking. Y'all, I don't play. Don't play with sus. I... <laughs> Y'all, y'all just acting like sis don't exist. And y'all over there got Q tearing down his apartment, giving away all his stuff, stealing stuff. And th- that whole situation don't even make sense to me. Like, y'all can't just let Q have his nasty arse up in his, uh, his apartment, taking everything. And y'all go tell me y'all can't do nothing. Like, Calvin can't even call the police because his name in it. I ain't trying to hear that. Ain't no way this ninja gonna stay up in here with Calvin and y'all telling me he can just have free reign of the apartment and steal my recent calvin and stuff and the police can't be calling and and can't nobody do absolutely nothing and this how it work y'all can't tell me this how it work and then ain't nobody saying about sus or nothing y'all can't i i just refuse to believe it somebody leave me in the comments below to know a little bit more about being a criminal and the criminal system because i personally don't know nothing about it but i need some tea somebody come in and let me know but anyway we do need to discuss some. Tell me why Pam running the salon and the salon fool. But tell me why when Karen be running the salon, <laughs> it don't never hardly be nobody up in there. She be sitting up in the chair. But when Pam running the salon, all the chairs full. And all the people up in there seem happy. But y'all help me make it make sense because I can't. It when Karen there be like gloom and doom, Pam there, everybody happy go lucky and the vibe is vibing and it's giving what it need to be given. But when Karen there, it's gloom and doom. It's one or two customers there and she's stomping around there and it's just like a, a rain cloud and lightning bolts over the place lightning bolts over the place. But when Pam there it's vibing and giving and everybody happy, the sun shining, the shot bright. But I, I, I'm going to let y'all figure that one out because I know it just ain't me that noticed that you can't tell, <laughs> tell me. I ain't the only one that noticed it's bright and sunny to shine, the shine, the sun shining when Karen there is dark and gloomy, but I ain't the one to gossip. But I will take a minute to say, Pam, it's looking good. She done lost some weight, girl. You look good. You looking good, honey. She done lost some weight, and they got her in an old nasty piece of body shaper, and she was scrutting around the shop. Not strutting, she scrutting around the shop. She was looking good, and they got her some new makeup on her with a little, what you call it, dark eye. Honey, she was looking good, and she got a little face. Did. They gave her a new look, honey. They had sent her to make up and get her a new look. And a new wardrobe. She looked good. She was squirting around the shot. And I noticed the other two episodes when she had carried Pam to the hospital. I meant Karen to the hospital too. Y'all, when Danny walked in that law firm, I like, honey, when I say in tears, when she asked for Andy, and Andy went there, and then she, she asked for Fatima, I felt it right then in my spirit. This new bond was being created, and this new friendship was about to blossom. That friendship that we wanted on that one episode that that it, it was last season or the season before, the first time that they had drinks with Fatima before they knew Fatima was seeing Zach, and they had went to that bar and they met Fatima Fatima for the first time, and and it was like I I like you, I mean. And Danny was like, I like you. Me and uh, told Fatima that. And we knew them two was going to have some kind of friendship. Like, we felt it blooming. I, I feel it this time, like, something in this is going to bring them together. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in the atmosphere. This is going to bring about a bud. Now, I think this is the second calling of a new friendship. I think it's going to bring a bun. I think in the episodes to come more of them becoming friendships is going to come. Um, she talked to Andy, though. She didn't talk to Fatima. But I feel like it's going to 
make them be closer. But anyway, she goes in there and she's not all right. She tells Fatima she's not all right. Fatima calls Andy, but Andy just happened to already be in the building. And she came in, she talked to Danny, and she tell, uh Andy what happened. And she said she killed somebody. But I, okay, this is what I want to know. Did she really kill him? Because did she go to jail? Did she think she killed him? Is he in the hospital? I need details because this is where it goes off at. I feel like with the case of Danny, I feel like it's going to be more like self-defense because, first of all, he done hit her. He threatened to kill her. And then, too, we don't know what happened to Danny. Like, we need, I feel like this is going to pull us into some backstory about Danny because Danny, it's been different things in the seasons of sisters that let us know, especially with the whole situation with Preston, that Danny has had some trauma in her life. And I feel like now we'll get to know some of Danny's back history, like what has happened in Danny's life to give us some trauma. But we waiting on Preston to come in. We've been waiting on Preston like... Uh, okay, but not just Preston. Y'all, her best friend. Y'all know Danny, other best friend. When he find out Danny feeling like she feeling, he gonna be mad too. So, in the next episode, it's the hundred episode. So I don't know if it's like a special episode. Is it this next episode? What's going on? I'm on the rope, y'all. They done showed a preview of, of Paul Brina. Brina at the jail broke down to her afro. Lord, we can't hardly take no more. We we need details. But but this whole situation with Danny and Brina, yeah, I know I wasn't the only one screaming, call madam. Get madam on line twelve, Fatima. Uh call 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 your cousin. Call your cousin. Line twelve. Call madam. Cause Madam gonna have to help Danny to just get Madam on this show. We going we might as well work Madam on in as a regular at this point. Um, cause she gonna be over here a little bit more frequently. Her and Fatima, we gonna put Fatima over on Sisters a little more regularly. We gonna have Madam over here a little bit more regular. We gonna have Miss Cristal. Um, on three shows a little more regular. She's going to be doing this one, Zatima, and all the Queen's men. We're going to have her helping Madam a little more. I'm sorry, Miss Chris. We ain't trying to work you to the bone, but baby, you is needed down to the sit. I, I'm sorry. But anyway. And then we got Heather sitting up in there. Let me tell you, we been saying the baby wasn't Zach. We see when the preview go out, Heather sitting up in the attorney office. And who y'all think her attorney is? Because why do I feel like her attorney is Hayden? And why do I feel like Hayden helped her fix those results so the baby looked like Zach's? How I feel like we about to find out that the baby not Zach's. But we're going to have to stay tuned in to see if the baby really is Zach's. And do y'all... It could be just me, but I'm waiting to see if the little tenant that Zach had moved in. I want to know if she got ties to Gary and Hayden, too. Because, I don't know, because some in, in my Phaedra Park voice feel like, I just feel like some in the buttermilk ain't clean at this point. But we finna find out. It's, it's gonna go down. I, the rest of this season gonna be good. I mean... Then we got to go see Brina. Lord, somebody please go see Maurice. We need to see how Sus doing. And I'm feeling some kind of way about this 100th episode because how we got a 100th episode with Maurice in jail, Brina in jail, and Preston and Danny not together. Like, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. We got to talk about this. This too much.